Is it a fair question or is it a weird question to say, how are millennials having sex? It's a fair question. And, and it's a tricky one because I don't know if there's any concrete answers or, or um, one answer. But, you know, there's all of this research coming out that millennials and Generation Zers are having less sex, Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, I think it's important for us to question, challenge some of the the research, where they're getting this data from, how how the methods in which they've collected the data. Um, But, you know, there there may be a point to that, that, that millennials are both having less sex, but talking more about sex, which is sort of a weird um, contradiction. Mm. And, and I think something that I've really noticed is that a lot of younger people are very anxious. Um, they're having maybe harder times connecting to others. There's maybe more social isolation. Mm-hmm. So it can be harder to have opportunities to have sex. Is there a generation of people losing faith or have lost faith in marriage? I think there's some truth to that beyond just the fact that uh, you know, it's it's harder to get married. People people don't have as much money to get married. They don't have as much, many savings as they as they used to. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I hear a lot of people talking about how divorce is so normal. That why why bother getting married when when it's so it's probably inevitable that I'll get divorced. You know, mm-hmm. this type of this type of language. Um, I don't think people really, yeah, see the need to get married in the same way that they used to. There's not as much of a social pressure. I mean, there still is to a certain extent, but but less so. I think also it's interesting, you know, I'm originally from Denmark and in Denmark, there's there's no advantage really to getting married. You don't get a tax benefit. Um, you know, there's no like need for health insurance from your partner. Uh, and and people don't get, get married as often. Mm-hmm. Marriage is really, it's really on the decline the anxiety of having one partner for the rest of your life, like seems scary. Right. I think a a more optimistic view is, is also that people are thinking about relationships differently, that they're not necessarily thinking about one person for the rest of my life and more um, around satisfying relationships and finding someone that's a really good fit. And if, and when we grow out of this, or if, and when we evolve that maybe we break up and that's not a failure but we're looking for something different Mm -hmm. because I think people are putting, I also, I mean, on the flip side too, there's a lot of high expectations around relationships. I think more so than in the past, Um, this idea that a a partner really meets all of our needs um, versus just one need that might be more familial or or domestic. Mm -hmm. And so when you put that much pressure on a person, um, it can be harder to to sustain forever when you when you feel dissatisfied. Right, um, you're more likely to end and, and find a partner that that feels better. Yeah, the more fractured we are in our social lives, the more pressure gets put on that one relationship, and it's it's maybe yeah. arguably never meant to have that <laughs> amount of pressure. But absolutely, um, mm-hmm. 